on guys, park's open, let's go. Ooh, wait for me, Trace. Good. Guys, wait for me. Hey guys, Trace Craig here with Brandon Castelli from Mountain Bike Action Magazine. Today we've got four of the top cross country race rigs. That's right, we have the S Works Epic, we have Trek Super Caliber, Canyon Lux, and the Cannondale Scalpel. We're ready to hit the trails. We've got four riders, four bikes to get this shootout started. So let's get on the dirt. Let's do it. We start off our XC shootout with the S-Works Epic. Specialized went over the top to make the Epic pop no matter what angle you see the bike from. The S-Works version tested is equipped with Specialized's user-friendly brain suspension. This system stiffens up when putting the power down or will open up when the trails get rough. As you will see shortly, the rest of the bikes in our lineup have a remote lockout, but more on that to come. Along the large list of features and carbon components is the SRAM Axis drivetrain with an integrated power meter at the chainring. At the wheels, the Epic comes equipped with an all new Roval Control SLs, wrapped with a 29 by 2.3 inch tire. Keep this model in mind as we dive into our other contenders. You might recall our standalone ride video featuring the Trek Super Caliber that was tested earlier this year. As a quick recap, the Super Caliber was designed to achieve the best riding traits of both a hardtail and a full suspension cross country bike. Making this happen is Trek's proprietary ISO strut suspension. Where most suspension has an independent shock and linkage system, Trek's design has the shock as a structural part of the Super Caliber's frame. The proprietary Fox shock mounts just in front of the strut where an anti-rotational pin is set to prevent twisting within the strut. To lean away from the excess lateral movement, the builders completely left out the option of rear pivot. Instead, the flat carbon seat stays bow about three to five millimeters vertically. The build we tested is comparable with the rest with its lightweight carbon parts and comes in a price tag of $9,500. Next up, we have Matthew Vanderpool's race bike of choice, the Canyon Lux CF 9.0. Given Canyon's consumer direct approach, this is the best bang for your buck option, coming in at 7K for the model you see here. It's worth noting that this is about five grand less than the Specialized in Cannondale, also involved in the shootout. But don't let that fool you, the Lux is outfitted with high-tech components, a lightweight frame, carbon wheels, and even a carbon dropper post. Along with lightweight carbon bits at the drivetrain, the Lux is equipped with reliable Shimano XTR drivetrain. The Canyon also integrated a small chain guide to avoid the rider from ever having a drop chain. Another clever feature is their tool-free rear through axle design. Giving the bike some squish on the trails is Fox's lightest factory components that has a remote dual lockout. The last cross country powerhouse we tested is the Cannondale Scalpel High Mod Ultimate. Hitting the mark with the highest price in our shootout at 12K, Cannondale Scalpel had a lot to live up to. However, there are a few things that set this bike apart. One of which is Cannondale's Lefty Ocho Fork that will leave most doing a double take. Along with this is a simple chain guide system that's very similar to the Canyon. A big highlight is the smart storage space in the down tube that holds a multi-tool on one side with a strap on the other side for a tubeless repair tool and a CO2 canister. Unlike most full suspension bikes, Cannondale also decided to use a handy recommended air setting sticker for their rear shock to help riders dial in their preferred settings. Why so much? This model is fully loaded with desirable Envy wheels, bars, and seat post combo. Along with that, the bike features top of the line SRAM AXS electronic drivetrain. Now let's see how these bikes hit the trails.
Now that we've covered some of the tech talk, we want our viewers to keep in mind that these bikes are also offered at entry price points than the super race bikes that we were testing. With that said, each of these bikes has its own pros and cons. Without revealing a winner before our magazine is released, let's start with the Specialized and go over its riding style. The Epic by far has the most user-friendly features in our shootout, thanks to its brain suspension outsmarting the trails. The Epic's new geometry compared to years past was highly favored by our test riders who experienced more confidence when hard charging through challenging terrain. Of course, the Epic is designed to conquer climbs, just like all of its competitors. The Canyon Lux's secret weapon is its dropper post. This is a feature not seen on the rest of the bikes in this shootout. With that said, the Lux kind of needed the lower height seat with the 70 degree head tube angle and 720 millimeter handlebars. The Canyon was the twitchiest maneuver in our lineup. At slow speeds, the bikes felt snappy, but at higher speeds, it was a bit tough to manage in comparison with the rest. The Lux may have a slightly outdated geometry for today's rougher XC courses, but its value makes it appealing to riders looking to save a few thousand bucks. The Super Caliber is remarkably efficient at putting down power to the ground. Aiding the pedal efficiency is the geometry that places the rider over the front of the Super Cow. Forward weight balance also enhanced how quickly the bike responded both in and out of corners. The biggest advantage we felt the Super Caliber had was no pedal bob during acceleration, yet the suspension proved capable of opening up and coming alive when the terrain got rough. Harsh hits, meanwhile, reminded us that the bike had less suspension than the others in its class. Many of our test riders said it's like riding a hardtail that magically soaks up the trail. On the trails, our test crew quickly fell in love with the Cannondale's confident handling feel and climbing performance. The lefty fork may look strange to new Cannondale riders, However, if you take a look at the next 747 aircraft you land in, the landing gear closely resembles the single leg fork design. With that said, the bike has a plush ride that makes great for marathon style racing, but also efficient enough to power its way up single track. Although the Scalpel is the most expensive bike in our lineup, its technology, component spec, and innovation justify its price. Well, boys, that was quite the ride. Pretty fun out there, huh? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> what was everyone's favorite bike? Epic. Do you like the Epic the most? Yeah. What were some of the things you liked best about it? Um, well, I, I currently ride a uh, last year's version, and mm -hmm. um, this with a little bit steeper head angle, and just felt more capable on the trails. I yeah, would have liked to have a dropper, but honestly, it didn't need it on most of the trails we were riding. Yeah, so. longer, slacker, lower than last year's. Yep. Definitely a, a good, good contender. I was. I think I'm leaning towards that Epic as well. I do really like that. It also has the the largest tires out of I think the whole crew. Yeah, that helped on. So you know, having having a little added traction never hurts. Yeah, yeah, puffs well, them out a little bit. But we got to talk about the price point on that Canyon. Yeah. I mean, what is it? Six six K for seven, that? Seven, seven seven K for that. Seven K for that build that we rode, which is five grand cheaper than the 12k Cannondale <laughs> yeah which is the highest price bike that we like bought you said us. earlier I mean that's just extra money to, to buy tacos drive to races <laughs> yeah, I mean buy another season bike. pass to Sky Park get your yeah, season pass exactly. all that kind of good stuff my favorite though had to be the scalpel the Cannondale scalpel um, I really like the lefty super uh, plush super plush yeah. um, it always feels like you don't have enough pressure in it and then when you ride it you feel like you maybe have too much because it's just it's so supple off the top caliber. Super caliber I mean yeah it's got its ISO strut technology mm -hmm. um, it's kind of in the lineup between them all it, it's kind of the hard tail out of all of them it mm -hmm. definitely sure. it definitely responds beat a, little you up more. a little bit more it beats yeah. you up a little bit <laughs> yeah. more 
pretty, I mean, still pretty capable. There's just though. something about jumping on the Epic. It has got such a futuristic yeah. feel. Yeah, it's got it's good geometry on it. Very simplistic. There are two cables. I mean, it's every, you look at something like the Canyon yeah. and it's so cluttered. There's <laughs> what, seven, eight cables on the front of that thing? There is a lot of cables it, going on. <laughs> it's a bit of a rat's nest up there, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not yeah. give it all away. We do have a print <laughs> magazine, so make sure you guys go ahead and get your subscription for that. Absolutely. And, uh, thanks yeah. for riding today. That was awesome, Cheers. guys. Heck yeah. Fun day. High fives all around. Oh. Follow us at mbaction.com or on any of your favorite social media outlets. Don't want to miss out on any of the action, do you? Well, check out these videos and make sure to hit subscribe.